And this, as we said, saw before, is the press relief release, and they have now uh, published the actual final document on the 30th of November. So revision two actually has a very interesting message in the introduction, a message which I think makes everything very, very clear. It says, in the event of any conflict between R1 and R2, R2 should take priority. So you don't have any arguments from any of your departments or any of your investigators or even ethics committees or anybody else. There's no arguments as to which revision, which version should be taken. If there's any conflict between them, R2 takes priority. So that means that R2 is very important. So what has R2 actually got in it? Well, it turns out that R2 has a lot of the hot topics which inspectors have been using. And actually it does coincide with a lot of international clinical trials regulation that's coming out now. So briefly, what's it about? Well, as, you, as we had said, we had a step 2B in June. We had a step 4 um, uh, in uh, November and actually published on the 30th of November. But it's an addendum to ICHGCP. There are no changes to the original text. So the original text of R1 is still there, exactly there, and there are no changes at all. And they've added some new things. In fact, they've added about 20 new addendums to E6. And a lot of these things are in line with many of the inspection hot topics which inspectors have been bringing up in the last few years. But R2 is much more detailed and prescriptive than R1. Uh, R1 had a lot of general principles, but R2 tells you exactly what to do in a much more detailed way. We'll see how that comes out when I'm going to show you in a minute. So what we're going to look at here in this webcast is basically what is new about R2. So this webcast is not training in ICH GCP. This webcast is about what's coming on with R2. <clears throat> well, we could actually just sit here and literally read our way through all the changes, and I could prepare slides one after the other, just showing you what the changes are. Um, I did think that that might lose your interest. So instead, what I've done is I've grouped them together into various hot topics. So. We do assume, of course, as we said before, that you have detailed knowledge of the original. Otherwise, you're not going to make much sense of what the addition is. 